Hello everyone. Welcome to English lesson. In today's lesson, we'll be discussing how to make right choice of words for natural use of language. To get started, have a look at this picture. What do you think is happening in this picture? Let's see the sentence. The first one, I'm putting flowers into a vase. I'm arranging flowers in a vase. What do you think is the most appropriate one? Yes, it's the second one. I'm arranging flowers in a vase. Do we usually put flowers into a vase or arrange them nicely to make it more beautiful? Yes, we arrange flowers to make it more beautiful. Now look at these two pictures. What do you think is the first picture about? It is about the rain. And the second picture is about the wind. How would you describe the rain in the first picture and the wind in the second picture? Let's see the sentences. I was late because of the heavy or strong rain. Would it be right to say heavy rain or strong rain? Yes, it should be heavy rain. We never say strong rain. In the second sentence, heavy or strong wind uprooted the trees. What do you think is the best choice? It should be strong wind. We never say heavy wind. Now look at these two pictures. Are they similar or different? Of course they are different. How are they different? Let's see these two sentences. The two pictures are totally different. The two pictures are fully different. What do you think is the most appropriate one? Yes, it's the first one. The two pictures are totally different. We never say fully different. This picture shows you a bald-headed man. Let's see the sentences. He went bald when he was 30 years old. He got bald when he was 30 years old. Would it be right to say he went bald or got bald? Yes. The correct choice is, he went bold. With the word bold, we use the verb either be or go. For example, he is bold, or let's say, my grandfather was bold. You can also say, he went bold, or he's going bold. Let's have a look at this picture. What can you see in the picture? There's the rain stopped at the station and the passengers who were on board are leaving now. Let's see the sentences. The train came at 2.30 p.m. The second one, the train arrived at 2.30 p.m. What do you think is the most appropriate one? Yes, it's the second one. The train arrived at 2.30 p.m. Come means a movement in a particular direction. Arrive means finish coming or you come to a destination. Now in this picture the train has come to the destination and the passengers are leaving. Moving on to the next slide, I have taken some words that we have discussed in the previous slides. Let's read them. Arranging flowers, heavy rain and strong wind. Totally different went bold, train arrived. In this activity, we have a conversation. We have Radha, Vihara and Malit. We are going to read this conversation and make sure when you read this conversation, pay your attention to the words underlined. Well, that was good, isn't it? Yes. Did you see the beautiful scenery they had captured? Hmm, I wish I could go back to the time of ancient kingdoms. Me too. Shall we discuss our plans now? Let's decide on the topic of the presentation first. Then we can find the necessary information. Ah, I forgot to tell you all. I watched a program on TV last night, a documentary on Anuradhapura Kingdom. Children, it's 2 o'clock now. Have lunch and then continue your work. Here in this slide, 
I have taken some words that appear in the conversation. We normally say capture a scenery, but we don't say take a scenery. But you can say take a picture. We discuss plans, but we don't talk plans. When you talk, you just express your views or you have a conversation. But when you discuss something, you talk about something in order to reach a decision. We usually say decide on topics, but we don't say decide on titles. What's the difference between topic and title? Topic is a subject or an outline or a theme. You write the topic uh, at the top of your essay. You tell your, uh, you tell your topic when you make a speech. Title is identifying name given to a particular book, movie, play or a musical composition. We usually say watch a program, but we don't say see a program. See means to be aware of what is around you with the use of your eyes. When you watch something, you look at something intentionally, deliberately. We usually say last night, but we don't say yesterday night. In next activity, we have this spidergram. We have powerful, make, break, get, highly, handsome. We say powerful engine, make a call, break a record, get angry, highly successful, handsome gentleman. Now there are some blanks for you to think of one more word. Now take some time, take your notebook and write down some words. I hope you have got your answers. Let's see. We made the bed. Did you make the bed in the morning? You also make a call. Did you make a call to your class teacher during this quarantine period? We make a mistake. Remember, we don't do mistakes. Some say do mistakes, but the most appropriate one is make mistakes. Children also make a lot of noise during the interval. We break a record. You know, Sanat Jayasuriya set a lot of records and most of his records still remain unbroken. We also break a promise. You know, some people keep promises while some break promises. Some reckless drivers break the traffic law, causing a lot of accidents on the road. Break a leg. Andrew broke his leg when he was playing football. We also say highly recommended. If you recommend something, you suggest that something is useful. Highly regarded, highly unusual and highly usual. We get permission. Before you go out, you get permission from your parents. Get dressed, get upset, get worried. We have powerful leaders, powerful evidence, powerful feeling, powerful resistance. Resistance means refusal. Now with these activities, now you know in English, some words combine or fit together with other words. We call them collocations. And when, when you use right collocation, right combination of words, your language becomes more natural. It sounds good. Now you, you have an activity. You have five sentences with blanks and the words that go for these blanks are in brackets. The first one, Take your notebook and write down. The blank of the book is green wood. My uncle is a blank man. She a blank, her degree from the University of Calony. I'm good at blank puzzles. You blank to improve your standard of English. I hope you have written your answers. Let's see your answers. The title of the book is Greenwood. In the previous slides, we came to know that 
title is uh, the identifying name given to a book, play, musical composition uh, or a drama. My uncle is a handsome man. You now know handsome goes with male. Handsome man, handsome boy, but we don't say beautiful. The beautiful and pretty go with female. She obtained her degree from the University of Kalania. When you get something, you receive. When you obtain something, you get it through effort. I'm good at solving puzzles. Remember, we solve puzzle problems, but we answer questions. For questions, we have answers. For problems, we have solutions. You need to improve your standard of English. Here, need to implies the meaning. You have to improve your standard of English. Now, moving on to the next slide. I would say this question is pretty much similar to test number nine in 2019 knowledge level paper. Let's read it. It's a paragraph with some blanks and the options are given in brackets. It is the school vacation. I'm free now, so I started reading my a blank. You have three options in brackets, storybook. Again, a blank, three options within brackets. Evening, while I was reading. I, again, a blank, three words in brackets. People shouting, fire, fire. I rushed out of my house and found that a house was on fire. Some people were a blank. You have three words within brackets. Water on the burning house. But the flames couldn't be controlled. Soon the fire engine arrived and the fire was a blank. Now take your notebook and try to write the answers. You can just put the blank number and the appropriate word. I hope you have got your answers. Let's check them. It is the school vacation. I'm free now. So I started reading my favorite storybook. Favorite means what you like most. We don't say reading my popular storybook or liked storybook. In the second blank, last evening while I was, while I was reading, we don't say yesterday evening or past evening. You can also say last morning. In the third blank, heard people shouting, fire, fire. We don't say listen to people shouting. The word listen to involves in some intention. I rushed out of my house and found that a house was on fire. Some people were splashing water on the burning house. So here we don't pour water. Remember, this is a huge fire, so you cannot get closer to that. You've got to splash water being afar. In the last blank, controlled, and the fire was controlled. To do this activity, I wanted to open your people's book to page number 115 and see the second paragraph. I would like to blank, you have three options within brackets, the science and technology subject stream in order to be a technician one day. I have to get at least a credit pass for science at all of us. If I don't score blank, you have three options again in brackets, marks to blank, the university. I can a blank either to Univotech, Ceylon German Technical Training Institute, or the Automobile Engineering Training Institute at Orgodavata. However, if I don't blank at the examination, I can still apply for the National Vocation and Qualification Level 3. Take your notebook and try to write the correct answer. I hope you have written your answers. Let's check them. I would like to follow the science and technology subject stream. When we talk about a subject or subject stream, we usually use the word follow. Native speakers also use take, take a course, we take literature for all of us, things like that. 
The second one, if I don't score sufficient marks, what do you mean by sufficient? Sufficient means you have something adequate. You don't say enough marks here. Enough implies the meaning you have, you have all what you need. In the third blank, enter the university. We all know we enter the university. I can apply either to Univotech, we can apply for a post, or we can apply uh, to an institution. The last one, succeed. Of course you use the word pass with examination, but here we have the preposition at the examination. You've got to succeed at the examination. That's it. I hope you have understood that we need to make the right choice of words in order to make our language more natural. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Have a good day.